Hello students, I'm your substitute teacher for today, Professor Miriam Issa. And it may be summertime, but classes at Clever U are just getting started, and this week's lesson is all about The Dark Knight. One of the most popular comic book characters of all time is finally getting his due, so take your seats, grab your pens and papers, and don't forget to take notes because, well, you never know when there might be a pop quiz. Let's get started on our lesson all about Bruce Wayne, aka Batman. Batman was created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger and made his first appearance in May 1939 in Detective Comics number 27. He was first known as the Batman and has also taken on the moniker of the Caped Crusader, the world's greatest detective, and of course, the Dark Knight. Inspired by the huge success of Superman, Batman's creation was highly influenced by characters like the Phantom, the Shadow, and Sherlock Holmes. Like the Phantom and the Shadow, Batman originally carried a gun and occasionally killed criminals with little remorse, but soon adopted a no-kill policy, which contributed to the eventual origin of Batman, which happens as a result of Bruce Wayne's parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, being murdered right in front of him at the hands of a criminal when Bruce was just a child. Unlike many superheroes, Bruce Wayne possesses no superpowers and becomes Batman using his intelligence and great wealth to create, or have someone else create, powerful weapons and vehicles that he uses to fight crime. He also uses genius level detective skills to take down criminals. His skills are so strong that he was even able to take down his much more powerful Justice League allies at one point, including the powerful Superman. In addition to his intelligence and detective skills, Bruce Wayne is also a skilled martial artist, master of several disciplines, and uses his physical prowess and his Batman persona to instill fear in the hearts of his foes. What are you? I'm Batman. Some of the weapons in Batman's arsenal include the Bat Suit, which is constructed of bulletproof material, protecting him from small gunfire as well as insulation against electricity, fire, and blunt weapon attacks. Batman's cape is also constructed of bulletproof fabric and is used as protection as well as a vehicle for gliding in some incarnations, as I'm sure you all have seen. His cowl, in addition to giving him his signature bat-like appearance, is also enhanced with special electronics that give Batman infrared, night, and ultraviolet vision, as well as some protection from gunfire and concussive blows. Of course, none of these compared to his most powerful weapon, his utility belt. An all-inclusive accessory that contains almost everything Batman may need to take down the toughest enemies, including a grapple gun for quick vertical escapes, the multi-purpose batarang, smoke bombs, lockpicks, and even a voice-activated signaling device to send the Batmobile right to him. Speaking of the Batmobile, it's one of the most iconic vehicles in pop culture. From the modified Lincoln feature in the 1960s TV series to the military-grade Tumblr of Nolan's films, the Batmobile has always been the envy of every other superhero out there. Other vehicles Batman has at his disposal include the Batcycle, which became the Batpod in The Dark Knight, the Batboat, Batsub, Batwing, and its new cousin, the Bat, which will make its debut this summer in The Dark Knight Rises. Batman himself has had several different versions throughout the years and usually falls into one of two categories. The colorful, campy Batman as seen in the 1960s TV series starring Adam West, and then there's the gritty, dark, reality-based version as seen in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Trilogy. The series fell under the campy side for several decades until the debut of Tim Burton's 1989 feature film, which managed to marry campy with the dark noir of the original. The film was a huge success and went on to make $413 million worldwide. Its 1992 sequel couldn't quite compare to the original and managed only to make $283 million. Batman wasn't gone for long from the big screen and returned in Batman Forever, directed by Joel Schumacher, who returned to the more campy and colorful world of Batman. The film was a success and raked in $335 million worldwide in 1995. Schumacher took the series even campier with 1997's Batman and Robin, which managed to infuriate critics and fans alike. The most notable outcry was the decision to put nipples on the famous Batsuit. 
plans for a fifth Batman movie were scrapped and the series took a long hiatus until director Nolan revived the franchise in 2005 with Batman Begins. The film was a critical and box office success, raking in $352 million globally. Its 2008 follow-up became one of the biggest movies of all time, taking in over a billion dollars worldwide. The final film in Nolan's trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises, is easily one of the most eagerly anticipated films of the year and is expected to rival the success of The Dark Knight. As for the future of Batman, only time will tell. Plans for a reboot are already in place with the character expected to appear in the long-planned Justice League movie. So there you have it, everything you need to know about Bruce Wayne, aka Batman. I hope you took good notes, and be sure to stay tuned for our next lesson in the Dark Knight series. I'm your professor, Miriam Misa, saying class is dismissed.